Okay. And um, this is like our news board. So like you can see there's a tribe called Woodsmen that we're kind of uh, hostile to. So it says Woodsmen are KOS. It has a base location. And uh, it says stop landing your flying mounts in water because we've had a few uh, cases where people have been drowning their birds in the shallowest of water. So like for instance, <laughs> For instance, this goes with the flying lesson. Whenever you land your mount, you hit spacebar. Spacebar is like actually like land. If you hit E, you just kind of eject. So like, oh, shit. yeah, there's like a rare case where like your bird would be like <laughs> pointed down into the ground, just like, you know, drowning in the water. And so that's what that means. We've had that happen like two or three times. So it's important. That's definitely something to post then. <laughs> yes, it is. All right, that's pretty cool. Now, is the woodsman the only one that's kill on side order? Uh, yeah, we are. Um, we're friendly towards pretty much everyone unless they attack us first. We're not really like uh, like we're we're not trying to be dicks or anything here. Just like you know, murdering people left and right. Just trying to make sure everyone has fun. That's that's awesome. Yeah, exactly. Like we just like to build and tame dinos. Occasionally, we will um, we will ride out and go attack some people who have been causing trouble. Just you know to keep it fresh, because you know you can't just like not attack people when you have like a bunch of T Rexes and such. But we're we're oh, friendly oh, yeah. to everyone. So unless otherwise. Yeah, I would say, like, on a server size of 70, like, 20 to 30-ish people would be ideal because then, then it keeps the game interesting. Like, you can keep the peace, but you can also have fun yourself and do wars and stuff like that. Yeah, exactly. Like, uh... If we don't declare war on anyone or anything like that, that's just not... That's just not who we are. We actually, the last group of people we crushed, they actually attacked us first. And we're just like, you know, we can't let, just let that stand. So we basically rallied, counterattacked, took them out, and then, like, probably 20 hours later, we wiped out the remnant of them. And they, they literally left the server after that. Like, they straight up quit and went to another server. So, but um, we, we don't, like, you know... We're not trying to make people quit the server, but those people were genuine dicks. Like, you ask anyone who's been playing on the server long enough, and they'll tell you, like, they have a negative opinion of those people. So, so that's really what we do. That's what we're all about. So. Yeah, uh, I think when I got on this, I think it's this server, I think there was, like, a level 55 murderer going around, maybe somewhere. Yeah, I mean, I what, what was his name? That. No, I don't know his name. I, I heard about him from this guy that I was in the tribe with. I was I had a group of four people, and one the first guy that I met told me to watch out because there was a guy who was a... I think it's a level 55. I, I think it's this server. I, I'm playing on three separate servers, but only two of them are have people on it. I think it's this one that said there's a level 55 murderer. And, and the third one's your private server with uh, no people on it? Yeah, uh, my the, the reason I bought this game is my brother, my brother's plural, uh, were playing it so much, and so I, just, I bought it and I hopped on their server. What they're trying to do is they have a private server and they're building settlements like kind of throughout the the region, trying to develop stuff, basically what you guys are doing here, and they're going to make these cities and stuff, and then they're gonna let it let it go public. And invite people in. Okay, okay, that that's very interesting. I I, I like their approach to it. Yeah. But uh, how like, would they let people own the cities, or is it like they're not gonna let people own the cities? It's just like kind of like a, a Lego land. Um, I feel like what's gonna happen, and I haven't talked to them in depth about it. What's probably gonna happen is they may like. The, the people who created the cities may splinter off and, you know, rule a, a specific city. Because there's only like four people on there and they're each developing like a corner of the world, it looks like, yeah. is what it seems to me. 
Okay. And uh, my my brother has like this little island base that he's trying to develop, and I'm trying to help him out. And uh, he has this little uh, the the turtle with the spikes named Spike. Yeah, a and, carbon uh, a carbon nemus. Yeah, and uh, and there's like there's some other people, and what they're trying to do is I think they're trying to build all metal cities. Is what they want to do. Wow, that that's a pretty tall order, though. Do they have like? Can they call in materials like as admins, or are they farming all that? I I honestly don't know. I know one guy. I think I feel like they're just trying to do an a metal shell, so like how you would build the fences, but then it's probably going to be everything's going to be wood on the inside. But I don't know. I don't know. I'll talk to them about it. Do I have a face cam idea? Yeah, I'm, I'm not completely That's sure to be honest. off these days. Okay. Well, um, let's see. This game is too beautiful. Alright, so, uh... Even hide a spot. We can go do a little mount ground combat training first. But, um... Let, let's, uh... Let's have a little quiz. So, describe okay. to me our... philosophies, or like, what we're about. Well, it seems to me you guys are about self-sufficiency, um, getting a, a museum of dinosaurs, and uh, living <laughs> by the, the code of the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> don't fight unless somebody fights you. Okay, okay. <laughs> I love this uh, guy. How do you properly land an air mount? Spacebar. Okay. <laughs> love this. I'm loving this. And uh, you want to hit you too, <laughs> but space bar is definitely. Uh, you did. You did get them to land as well. Yeah. The, you you is to get them to stay because sometimes they won't stay or like the server will be a little glitchy. The the safest bet is the space bar and then you. All right. How do you how do you call a specific mount? Uh, T. Okay. Um. Which dinosaurs are off limits? The ones that say Nig or they're someone's name, like the Lucifer's pet. Oh, and off. Wait. Uh. Is there also one one more thing? It was on the billboard. Yeah, that there, there is one more thing. Um. What's what's the acronym? D D T. Don't. Yeah. Okay. What's that okay. stand for again? D don't touch. Don't touch. There you go. Perfect. Uh, uh, unless, of course, we're being attacked, in which case, you know, go nuts. Yeah, <laughs> engineering going in there. I'm actually a mining engineering student at the University of Kentucky. Okay. Nice. Yeah, I'm, uh, I, I have a degree in computer science myself, so I mean, I definitely get the whole engineering thing. I hate coding. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people do. It's all right. Um, so, okay, so let's see. All right, well, let's go do some ground combat. Sounds great. All right, just uh, come out. Oh, you bet your ass I'm coming. Oh, and uh, you know, in general, just. Make sure to keep the doors closed when uh, you're leaving and stuff. Just okay. to keep it secure. So my question is, how do you... Um, well, so, like, say you're being attacked. How do the dinosaurs, like, know to attack other people? So dinosaurs have, like, uh, aggression stances. There's passive, neutral, attack my target, and aggressive. And basically... Okay. Uh, passive means they're not gonna do shit. Like you could be poking them with a metal spear, and they're still not gonna do shit to you. Uh, neutral means if they get attacked, they will attack, but they're not gonna just seek out shit to go fuck up. And neutral, I think, also applies to um, like tribe members and tribe-owned property. So, like for instance, uh, like for instance, if Stompmaster got attacked and he's on neutral, and Miss, Mr. Melons will be like, what the fuck? Why are you attacking Stompmaster? And he, he will promptly go over there and fuck that dude up. And aggressive uh, means... Aggressive means they'll just kind of just murder everyone. And so do you get to set these, these dinosaurs' moods? 
Yeah, so you can set a dinosaur in mood like this, like walk up to like Mr. Melon. Mr. Melon's here. Uh -huh. Hold E, and you'll see you get a wheel. <laughs> He's like Mr. Melon. Can do <laughs> he says Mr. Melon. Yeah, he missed the Z. The <laughs> the inventory. But also to access the inventory on a dinosaur, you don't have to do the wheel. You can actually hit F when you're next to or when you're riding the dinosaur. Yeah, so you can, uh, you know, get into it without ever having having to get off. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I love All this right, training. So let's see. It's so Ooh, like pure. He's only missed like parachutes. Right, parachutes uh, are super yeah, you essential. Can try the training map. Let me get over there. Yeah, yeah, the raptor. Let me put my, me put my glasses back on. Oh, hey, baby. Uh, how, how's your food and water looking? You still good? You're not like dying of thirst or anything? Uh, I'm at 90 food and 65 water, but I don't have. I have four things of cooked meat, so I think I right, should be yeah, all right. You're good. You're good. So when you're on a mount, you don't lose food and water as fast because you're not exerting yourself or anything. So like you see how in the bottom right of your screen you have like all your status bars, right? For like you know your weight and what whatnot. Yeah. And, uh, on the top of that you have all the ones for your mount. So you have your XP level, your weight, your, the food meter, the stamina meter, and the health, right? That's sweet. Okay. Now, can you still sprint by holding shift? Yeah, you can still sprint by holding shift. That'll consume the stamina of um of the animal. Okay. And you can that most mounts can sprint for a long time. You know, as long as they look like they can. So T Rexes have a good sprint. Uh. Rhinos don't. I wonder why. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, you can pretty much sprint and attack as long as you have stamina. Beat the game, yeah, I know, stamina. dude. I did beat the game. And honestly, you can even push it a little bit more when you're out of stamina, but I wouldn't recommend it because basically what happens is you, instead of straining, draining stamina, you add something called torpor. And what torpor does is it's a measurement of like how sleepy like the dinosaur gets. Or oh, like and exhausted. It can knock out. Yeah, I can knock him out. And if it's knocked out, like you, you are not in a good spot because it takes a while to wake him up. You're basically gonna need stim berries to wake him up faster. Shit. Well, I will try my. Hey boys, I just found a 23 T Rex. If anyone's interested, he looks beautiful too. I am Gandalf. I am screaming at passerbys with raptors and carno saying you shall not pass. What? They just turn around. Yo, does, it, does anybody want a 23 T-Rex? Anybody T-Rex. I really like this T-Rex. Hey Rapid, what are you up to right now? Bringing the level 29 back because I can't find a 13. I give up. Level 20 I what? The 29 Pterodon. You got the 29 the... one that was lost, or is that the second yeah. one you pulled out? Yeah. No, this is the first one that I lost, I got it. So you lost but... two, but you got one back? Correct. And they're both Pteranodons? Correct. Okay, can you help me tame this T-Rex? Uh, I got 15 minutes left, I'll try. 15 minutes? Are you playing at an arcade? F 15 minutes, I'm... You gotta sleep? Getting off soon, yeah, I gotta sleep. Yeah, 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 no worries. Uh, I know, I know fuck. you gotta Damn sleep. It, I wasn't paying attention. Fuck. It's okay, don't worry about it. It's completely fine, bro. We're not even gonna miss him. What was his name? Um, the one that said no touch. <laughs> that is just epic. Rip. <laughs> I think I. I oh think my I god! It's like I'm fucking, I love this. <laughs> this game is so funny sometimes. It's like somebody was like, 
I love this shit in Tyranodon so much, I don't want anybody to touch it. And that's the